Hey, I'm Birdman. Hey, I'm Michael. Time to get on target at the Hub Phoenix. Boom. <laughs> Nuke in your face. There we go. Um, so we've been talking about 1911s, 2011s, which are 1911s, just double stacks. Um, the best brands that we sell here at the Hub, we've talked about Cabot, Alchemy, Nighthawk, um, Nighthawk with agency, um, combos. Um, we've talked about Staccato, Ed Brown. Well, now we are on to the Wilson Combat. Wilson Combat, um, known first and foremost for their magazines, in my opinion. Um, oh, okay. Yes. Um, majority of the people get into the 1911 game, no Colt, Springfield, Sig, et cetera, kind of the more basic brands. Um, and um, look for magazines for them and they go over to the wall and some guy goes, yeah, the best mags that we sell are the Wilson Combat uh, 1911 mags. Um, I agree with that. Um, Ed Brown, Wilson Combat, um, to me are some of the best standard 1911 mags that you're gonna spend under $50 for, um, for most of them. So 30 something odd dollars for this magazine. Um, Amazing, amazing mags. As you can see, no matter what way I push on that follower, even if it's back, it always goes down. Um, most 1911 mags, when you push <laughs> on that, like that, it just won't go down. It gets stuck. Um, and with Wilson's, they just work. Um, so we really, really liked their magazines. Well, cool, great magazines. Um, then we started selling some of their barrels and accessories and stuff like that. Well, then eventually we started looking at their guns, um, you know, and guns are just absolutely gorgeous. Um, Wilson always sticks to a certain theme. So if you look at all of their guns, they all have this starburst kind of, you know, like spread out on the grips. Um, their, their P320 modules, same thing, have that spread out on the grips. Um, that's what I like about them is they kind of keep to one look and they don't really deviate from it. Now, some people may say, oh, that's not cool. They never change. Well, you know what? It's gorgeous. It works. And when you see it, you know it's a Wilson. So I like that. Their AR-15s, very easily recognizable that they're Wilson combats. They've got that grip with that star on it that just really grab, you know, it just... It's easily recognizable. So to me, the way that they pull the brands together, it works. You know it's a Wilson. The other thing that you know is it's gonna be a good gun. Um, they are not known for cheap guns and they're not known for cheap quality. They are high-end 1911 makers, high-end AR makers, high-end P320 makers that really know what they're doing. So it's again, not a gun that you're just gonna pick up shoot one time and go, man, I don't know why I spent that money on it. Yeah. Um, when you shoot that gun or when your friend shoots that gun, they're gonna look at you, do my, what my, my dad says uh, is the gun guy face, which is like, oh, whoa, did you feel that trigger? You know what I mean? Cause it's like, we'll go around SHOT Show, we're looking at all these guns and me and the guys just like pick up a gun and we like feel the trigger and we go, oh dude, you, you gotta feel this. You gotta feel this. And my dad, he loves making fun of it because it's just like, he's like every gun you feel you like. I'm like, uh-huh, yeah, pretty much, uh-huh. So, but with the Wilsons, you start looking at it again, and we've looked at some really high-end guns. Wilson, you do not have as much customiz customization. Um, custom, how do you say that? I, I just call it personalization, because okay. then I don't have to say that word. <laughs> yeah. So you can't personalize the Wilson Combat as much as you can some of the other guns. So you can't come to me and say, hey, Michael, I don't want that checkering, and I do want this one, and I don't want this, and I want these sights. Wilson sells the guns that they make. So this model is the model that they make. It's the way they make it. I can order you this gun. I can order you the full-size model. I can order you the commander model. Um, but it is what it is. So it's more find the model that you like in their lineup and snag it. And then from there, you can do what you like to it. Um, you can always have someone else add serrations and stuff like that. But if you look at it really though, so we're looking at side angle here, we're gonna look at the top. So if we look at the top and I'm gonna kind of scoot it towards you. you talk it. <laughs> so you can see right there, they have 
um, checkering on the top. So they, they gave you long, um, streamlined cuts that actually decrease on glare from the sun. Nice. So there's a reason for that. It's, it's the guns are shiny, and when you're outside and it's shiny, it's hard to see down that uh, with your sights. To add that cut actually changes that and gives you less glare. Um, and you can see that by the fact that he's shining a light directly on it right now, and you can easily see those cuts and they don't shine back at you. Um, it's just black. So then if we turn to where the hammer is at the back of the gun, you can see the serrations on the back. So they follow them from the top down. So from the sights down, you've got serrations all on the back here. And again, that cuts down on glare of the back of the gun. Um, it also gives you something to grip to. So that's grippy now. Um, why do you need grip there? Um, maybe you're, um, pushing the, the gun into someone and you do not want another shot to come out um, and you actually put your finger on the back of the gun, well, now your, your finger actually has a place to sit. Um, so lots of different reasons. Um, but main thing is it cuts down on glare. Um, all of those are, in the 1911 game, different things that add value and, and make the gun more money um, because they actually have to cut that. Um, so normally they just make the gun cool. It's done. That's it. Okay. Well now Wilson went back and machined all these little cuts and all these little slot, you know, serrations. So to me, that's what sets Wilson combat apart. Um, not only are you getting their sights, their magazine, their barrel, all their parts, but you're getting their quality. Um, and you're not paying that Cabot, that Nighthawk price in majority of these guns. You're paying more of that staccato price. Um, you know, so um, it really just depends on what model you're looking at and what you're going for. Um, but as you can see, we've looked at, in my opinion, some of the top 1911 companies, and each one of them has a different way of doing it. Yeah, a little bit different approach. Right. That's why it's not all the same, same, same. Exactly. Yeah. And that's what I kind of like about the gun industry is, is, well, they're all 1911s. You know what I mean? But they're all different. Hey, they're all tires. They're all round and black, right? Right. But some are sporty. Some are really tacky. Some are really good at off-roading. Some are really good at the rain. You know what I mean? So that's the thing. It's And that's what I like about these 1911s is, is I can have someone come in and go, look, I've got $2,000. I want the nicest 1911 I can possibly get in that price range. There you go. And I can go, okay, well, these are the few brands that I have that are in that price range that are the top brands. Which one do you like? What are you looking for size-wise? Are you gonna carry this every day? Is this gonna be a what they call a barbecue gun where you, you get really dressed up and it's your nicest gun possible and it's blingy and you're just wearing it because it's, a, it's really nice and you can defend yourself? Or is this something, hey, every day I'm gonna be putting this into my purse or I'm gonna be putting this into an appendix carry holster or swell the back and yeah. you know, I need it to be small and work. Then we're gonna look at, you know, some of the different brands that are more duty focused, you know, staccato, um, some of the C's or C2s or Wilson Combat or Ed Brown or, you know, so really it just depends on what you're looking for and then what you like, you know, because you may want the Wilson Combat based off the way it looks, but you know what, you want this serration and this cut on this side length with this barrel threaded. And you know what, now we gotta go look at Nighthawk because they can make something similar with all those extras. So, um, and that's what I like about it is, is we have kind of something for everyone and we have something for every, for every price range. Um, you know, um, after this series, um, the next series we'll look at is budget 1911s. So, you know, kind of um, SIG, Colt, um, Springfield, um, you know, SDS, you know, some of these brands that you can get a $400 1911 with. Well, we're gonna look at those, compare them to these, and really see what's different. You know, you can start seeing how, oh, well, I can, the slide in the frame got about a couple millimeters of play. Oh, you know what I mean? Yep. Like, hey, it was designed that way. So that way, you know, when it was overseas in the, you know, or in the dirt and the mud, it shakes, it moves. So that, that slide just shakes through that, that, that dust and grime. 
Um, you know, whereas these are so tight, well, yeah, maybe it'll run for a little bit, but if there's anything, a rock that really gets in that slide, it's locked up, you know what I mean? So different things to look at, different price points, benefits to cheaper guns, benefits to more expensive guns. So I think when you look at more expensive guns, you're getting something that you can hand down through your family and that really isn't gonna lose a lot of value. Um, and it's something that everyone can be proud of. Now, don't get me wrong, my grandpa gives me a cheap, you know, $2 <laughs> gun, I'm gonna keep it. It means something to me. But, you know, it's cool when not only are you handed something that is cool, but also very expensive and held its value. Yeah. Um, so um, we'll look at that in the future, but make sure you check out Wilson Combat, make sure you check out Staccato, Ed Brown, Cabot, um, Alchemy. Um, I wish we had some Infinities here. We do Infinity. Uh, we actually are an Atlas dealer, whole nother realm of um, kind of like the Staccato, but only more race gun themed. Um, so, but all great guns that are really high end that really match what you're looking for if you're looking for something over that, you know, $15,000, $2,000 area. So anyway, I'm Michael. I'm Birdman. We'll see you next time.